So here I'm going to start looking at the different play modes. So in Resolum, when you play a clip, it automatically restarts from the beginning. And that is set by this little setting just here, restart. If we set it to continue, stop the clip, we see it comes back to where it was played last. So let that go, eight. Stop the clip, we can play something else. When we come back, it picks up where it left off. And that one's pretty useful. One of the ones we, which is often overlooked is relative. And what relative does, it will play the clips on that, on that layer relative to where the other clips have played. So I'll just copy this one over. So it's the same clip. If I click between the two, you see it doesn't look like they're changing because they're playing both on the same timeline. What that means is I could add maybe effects or colors. So let's colorize this one with a colorize effect. We'll make that pink. Now I'll quickly switch between the two and they still stay in sync. Um, this is very useful to be reusing the same content over and over. Maybe you've got things you need to jump to. Maybe you've got different slice layering. But another thing it's very useful for is as a backup for time code clips. So I've got this clip here. I'll remove those for now. I'll move this one over. So with this clip, which is a just a trailer running as a time code, if I copy that over and rem remove the time code from it, so it will just play it by itself. Um, this is just a trailer that's going to run. So I've got Reaper running some time codes. So I've set this up as a time code input simply one. Right now, nothing's playing. And I'll set this clip up to play relative. So now it's going to be a backup. So I can get the start time from time code and then switch to that clip and it will play at normal speed from where it left off. So I'll jump into Reaper and I've got this loop here running. I've got some time code sending. It's sending through internal mixing applications and so it's a bit glitchy. So normally if I ran this clip straight from this time code I'd have some issues. But because I've got in Resolume this backup clip here that's going to run at normal speed from where, where this time code one is left off I don't have to worry about that. So if I go to the beginning here, restart that, I'll load up my, my video trailer ready to play, and let's hit play on that. So it starts fine, but I'll jump back into the other one. So we can see time code's now glitching out, but because I got my positioning from this first clip, it's now just playing at normal speed. And if we're running a long clip, we could use this to jump backwards and forwards and pick up again. So if I saw I was getting decent time code again, I could jump back to the first clip, get my positioning right. So I've got a decent time code, I'll pick that up and then jump back out. So again, to recap, that's the relative playback. So I'll put that little arrow on the side, relative. And now we can use that clip as many times as we want jump between and it will always stay in time even if we've got different effects on all of those i hope that makes sense enjoy